Let's go now to Nancy Cordes. She's on Capitol Hill keeping track of why some Republicans oppose this Senate bill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. There are a variety of major changes that they want, and those concerns are going to have to be addressed because there are now at least 12 Republican senators who say that they cannot support this bill in its current form. You have some, for example, like Ohio's Rob Portman and West Virginia's Shelley Moore Capito, who say the bill needs to do a lot more to combat the opioid epidemic. And then there are several conservatives who say that this bill needs to eliminate more of Obamacare's insurance regulations in order to bring down premiums. And then you have Maine's Susan Collins and Alaska's Lisa Murkowski, who want funding for Planned Parenthood restored. On top of all of that, they and a number of GOP moderates say that the cuts to Medicaid in this bill are just too deep, Gail, and are going to leave too many vulnerable Americans in the lurch. Nancy, I remember when it was just three senators opposed. Now it's up to 12. So what do Senate leaders now need to do to get everybody on board? Well, they say that they're going to spend the next couple of days working to cobble together some changes, some kind of compromise that everyone can live with. They're hoping that they can do that by Friday. But then, even if they do achieve that, they're going to have to rewrite the bill and have it reanalyzed by the Congressional Budget Office, which is something, Gail, that they were hoping to avoid because it could take several weeks. I know they wanted to get this vote done before the July 4th recess, Nancy. So are they likely to face angry constituents back home? Absolutely. You have a lot of uh, protest groups that have been planning for this recess and will be demonstrating outside town halls. But the reality is that these senators were already getting an earful. They were getting phone calls. They were getting emails. And that is part of the reason that you saw so many of these GOP senators come out in opposition to their own party's bill and say, let's slow down, let's go back to the drawing board. We have concerns, but we think that they can be addressed. So the bill is on life support, but certainly not dead.